Today we're going to continue on with severe weather. We're going to talk tornadoes. So you're heading tornadoes. Uh, I would write this down, a violent funnel-shaped storm whose whirling winds move in a narrow path over land. Violent funnel-shaped storm whose whirling winds move in a narrow path over land. I'm going too fast, you can always pause it. I would write this down, rotating air and thunderstorms. Basically, um, the similar ingredients for a thunderstorm is it's the same as for a tornado. So the ingredients you need for a thunderstorm will also be a tornado. A lot of times, I'd write this down, um, a lot of times um, we start with a thunderstorm and then it, it turns into a tornado. So uh, form because of the rapid upward movement of warm, wet air, just exactly like a, a thunderstorm. Um, most of the time, if I'm, I'm thinking like July when it's um, super hot and humid during the day, like insanely hot and humid, and then usually in the evenings we have thunderstorms um, with the possibility of tornadoes because all day long we had warm, wet air, and then um, it rises and cools off, and that's where we get the, the interesting weather. You don't need to write this, but the more warm air you have, the larger the thunderstorm will grow. So makes sense the more ingredients you have the bigger it can be uh, you don't need to write anything here the average time on ground about 10 minutes so um, tornadoes are, are pretty sh usually short-lived they're not going to go around for hours or anything like that um, typically um, most of the time the the, the reason that um, they're such a big deal I guess is um, when they um, land in populated areas like I had a couple in Sioux Falls a while back and uh, it was a, a big deal because there's a lot of people a lot of buildings in Sioux Falls if that happened in a cornfield by Colton no one would have really noticed so um, the big thing is where they happen if it's a populated area then it's a huge deal um, about a, a football and a field and a half um, in width and the color depends on uh, the debris that it picks up. I would go ahead and write this down. Hurricane, um, we're pretty familiar with tornadoes, so we didn't spend a ton of time there. But a hurricane, another type of severe weather. Write this down. A large, swirling, low-pressure system that forms over tropical oceans. Right. Hurricanes, tornadoes, thunderstorms, this is usually all low pressure systems. If they talk about a high pressure system moving in, that, that usually means everything's going to be great. There's going to be clear skies, sun, weather's going to be pretty good. Um, when we get into low pressure, that's, that's when we have issues. Um, I would write this down. The lower the air, or the warmer the air, the larger the hurricane. So. With a hurricane, very similar to a, a tornado or a thunderstorm, you need um, lots of warm air and water, which if it happens over the ocean, it's going to have lots of water. Um, yeah, I'd also write this down. As a hurricane moves over land, then it loses warm air and moisture. So as it hits land, it's going to weaken severely. And the two main ingredients for a hurricane is lots of warm air and a large body of water. Um, in order to be considered a hurricane, it has to have um, winds at at least 75 miles an hour. Um, if you look at this little map here, okay, there are different categories of um, hurricanes. Category five, um, it's all about the wind speed, so it has greater than 155 mile an hour winds. Category four would be 131, 155, and, and all the way down to 75, which is a category one. And then they call it a tropical storm and a depression if it's weaker than that. And you'll notice, um, tracking all these, they usually start here, okay, somewhere down in here, which the equator, 
and runs right down here, okay? So the equator gets direct sunlight. This water is nice and warm, and this water tends to move clockwise like this in the northern hemisphere. So this water is going to warm up and it move this way, and a lot of times it's gonna basically get a running start at Florida and the Gulf and all that stuff. And then once it hits um, land, it's going to kind of fizzle out because it doesn't have any more water. Um, the Pacific Ocean, like California, never gets hurricanes because um, California, if it be over here, okay, the water moves like this clockwise. So the water that it's getting is going to be cooler water from up maybe by Canada, okay? Um, so it's not warm enough for that to happen. So this is our, our big area here. Um, up here, they don't usually worry about hurricanes because by the time the water gets here, um, the air is cooled off enough where it's not going to be much. So you gotta have warm water and you have to have a large amount of um, warm air.